chances are if you clicked on this video you've experienced twin flame abandonment at least once on your twin flame journey so today's video is all about what you can do in order to never have that experience again and you know heal it completely from your twin flame union so that you can come together with your twin flame permanently Hello and welcome to the Twin Flames Universe channel. My name is Christine and I'm a proud student of Jeff and Shalia of Twin Flames Universe. And in fact, their teachings are how I came into my own Twin Flame Union. So I'm extending this to you as well, <laughs> so you can have your own Twin Flame Union. So the thing about Twin Flames that uh, many of us forget when we're upset at our Twin Flame is that they're each other's ultimate mirrors. So you share one consciousness with your Twin Flame. So that means that anything that is out of alignment with love, you will experience it coming up to be healed. So this is what makes Twin Flames uh, the perfect ascension path if, you know, you prefer to have a more earthly life, should I say? Because back in the day, people would um, ascend by becoming monks or nuns, but it doesn't have to be the case anymore. You can still ascend and be with your Twin Flame. And this is why it's so effective to be with your Twin Flame, because they show to you anything that is out of alignment with your divinity, so you can heal it and ascend. So this includes any patterns you might have with uh, abandonment. And abandonment is leaving something, right? And if you have experienced abandonment in the past, and it's something you carry with you, maybe there's some trauma here, then your twin flame will reflect that in one way or another. So, yeah. No need to take it personally, first of all, right? Because they're just mirroring something to you that is already within you. Your twin flame never out of the blue does something just because. <laughs> you share one consciousness. So the purpose is always healing and always to take you deeper into your relationship with God. So your relationship with God should be um, the priority here, right? No matter what happens on the outside on your twin flame journey, it's always about the inner. About having a relationship with yourself and God. And... Yeah, uh, if you have patterns of abandonment, they will come up in your union to be healed. It doesn't mean that it's not meant to be, <laughs> right? But uh, like with everything in life, it needs work. And of course, um, with it, this teaching available, there is uh, an effective body of work that can help you heal this permanently. And yeah, uh, if you're a beginner, I recommend starting by learning the mirror exercise. It will be linked below. And yeah, just start doing the mirror exercise more regu regularly, sorry, <laughs> right, get the hang of it, and um, it's a self-love tool that can help you heal anything, any look to your twin flame union, including abandonment, and some ways we abandon ourselves, it has to do with not listening to our hearts, right, if your heart is calling you to go in one direction, but you really don't because you're afraid, and you listen to the fear more than love, then in a way you're abandoning yourself, right you're not being your true self you're not listening to your heart so you're going to experience this in your twin flame union right um another thing is that if you choose to stay in your opposites instead of healing them instead of loving yourself there that's one big way people abandon themselves right by not giving love to themselves or by you know this could be um for many reasons some people don't think they're worthy of love and I recommend that you heal all those, because that's not true. <laughs> you are worthy of love because you're a divine being, and in fact, you are created because you are very loved, right? God doesn't just randomly create people, <laughs> just because, oh, I'll put this person here, right? We all have a purpose and we're all very loved. So, yeah, it's important to release all those illusions that um, constantly keep you in this loop of abandoning yourself or not thinking yourself worthy, because um, I'm sure you're aware of the love attraction, right? Um, if you believe that you're not worthy of love, then how do you expect to manifest your twin flame union and maintain it? So, yeah, it's not your twin flame's fault here, it's the belief that you're holding inside. But as soon as you completely heal it from your consciousness, it will just stop manifesting, there will be no reason for your twin flame to just be out there. <laughs> well, your twin flame is never out there, they're always, you know, within you, in your heart. But, yeah, what I'm saying is that there will be no purpose to twin flame separation, right? The only reason it's here is because there's something that there's a block to your union, and you can heal this with a mirror exercise. You guessed it. <laughs> Good. So yeah, it's important to be present with yourself and with any feelings that arise as a result of this twin flame abandonment. How does it make you feel? Do you feel sad? Do you feel like any other way? And to really take care of yourself. Um, 
and love yourself there until you feel peaceful. And yeah, it's actually extremely important to maintain your peace no matter what is happening on the outside. Like, it doesn't matter if the world is crumbling on the outside. It's important to be peaceful within yourself and to know that God has got it no matter what it is. Right? No matter how impossible it seems, God is powerful. More powerful than anything. And yeah, you can claim your own miracle. And in a way, coming into Twin Flame Union is a miracle. And it is for you too. Right? Miracles are our birthright as divine beings. <laughs> but we need to claim them first. You can't just expect it to fall out of the sky. Right? So yeah, claim your miracle and allow God to do the rest. Right? After a while, you'll be called to surrender. You cannot control your Twin Flame's behavior, even though you're one. And actually, control is more of a soulmate relationship thing where you try to control them by nagging, maybe, or something like that. But uh, yeah, your Twin Flame is going to be themselves. <laughs> Right, and uh, they have their own stuff that they're going through in one way or another, right? And it's their own ascension journey as well. And that's why um, in Zephan Shalee's book, Twin Flames, Finding Your Ultimate Lover, there is an entire section about the keys to your harmonious union, right? What you need to reach your harmonious union. And one of them is compassion, and another is forgiveness, right? So having compassion and forgiveness for both yourself and your twin flame is so important, no matter what you're experiencing. And, yeah, in truth, abandonment isn't even real, because um, I'm sure in old relationships you may have had the experience of being abandoned by the other person, but chances are this person was not even your twin flame, right? It's, it happens in, when it's not with your twin flame, because um, if this person never claimed you to begin with, they cannot abandon you, right? They never claimed you to begin with. And, yeah, it's very comforting to know that what... Yeah, at the end of the day, if you're really truly claimed, you can never be abandoned. Because, yeah, uh, God did not create abandonment, and it's not even real. So yeah, your Twin Flame Union is something meant for you, <laughs> right? It's not going to go anywhere. And yeah, experiencing abandonment um, is just the illusion of it, right? It's not real. You're always, you're in your heart, you're already in union, and it's all about calling that into your reality as well, right? Manifesting it. And it's okay to feel peaceful, no matter what's going on, okay? <laughs> I'm sure many of us are like, oh, but how can I be peaceful if everything is weird on my journey? But that's how miracles happen, by you being peaceful and surrendering to God. Because, yeah, you can just, you know, do your inner work, do your divinely guided action, that's it. You're never called to, like, make it happen. <laughs> that's God's job. Your job is to follow the steps. And that is what will help you to heal your union completely of, you know, any abandonment issues. <laughs> so yeah, that's all I have for you today. Thank you for watching the Twin Flames Universe channel. If you would like more juicy videos from other students here, you can subscribe and leave a comment, leave a like. All those are perfectly welcome. And as a certified Ascension coach, I am able to help you heal any abandonment wounds that you may have by using Stephen Chalet's body of work and my knowledge of it. I can help you apply it and manifest your own Twin Flame Union. So if you would like that, my links are in the description below. Have a great rest of your day, week, month, and yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.